Apparently, I'm Celia. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, I've always been upset with the way television portrays teenage girls. You know, I feel like it makes us look like we're emotional wrecks and we have nothing better to do than to cry about it. Um, okay, take Hannah Montana for an example. If you don't know Hannah Montana, it's this TV show that was on like 2006, 2007, and it basically had this girl who was Hannah Montana when she had this blonde wig on. And what Hannah Montana was was this pop star and she was fabulous and she was great and everyone loved her. But when she took the wig off, she was Miley Stewart and she was this typical teen girl. And all she did was like fight with her brother and fight with her dad and worry about boys and worry about school and worry about other girls. And that was it. And so she was the typical teenage girl. Cool. So when I was in elementary school, uh, we did a production of Willy Wonka as our musical play thing. <laughs> and so um, my music teacher picked me to be Willy Wonka. I was excited, but a lot of people were like, that's weird because he's a boy, but I didn't really mind. So. After the first show, I went up and I took a bow on the stage. And you know the audience clapped for me, and they stood up and they clapped for me, and everyone was like, yeah, you did so well, you did so well. And it was fantastic. You know, I'm one of four kids, and I'm not saying my parents don't like pay attention, but it's kind of hard to you know, get attention when there's three other siblings doing the same thing. But I was on stage, and people clapped for me. And I was really, really excited, and I was really happy. And I felt really strong, you know, I felt really big on the stage. But afterwards, when I got to middle school, that's when, you know, gossip starts up. You know, it was different things for different people. This girl's mean, this girl's rude, this girl's boyfriend is cheating on her with this girl, I don't even know. But I was lucky enough to be the girl that doesn't eat. They <laughs> said I was anorexic, which I wasn't. But unlike some of the kids calling me anorexic, I paid attention in health class. And I knew that anorexia was a mental illness. It wasn't just a skinny person. So, um, sorry, 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 sorry. So, with all the kids calling me anorexic all the time, I started to get tired of it. You know, and I started to try to divert attention away from my size. So I started dyeing my hair different colors and dressing in tutus and neon socks because I thought, you know, if they're gonna, sorry, no. <laughs> you call me weird? What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. I don't really do well in front of people. I'm sorry. I haven't really been on stage. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, people would always grab at my wrist because it's one of the smallest parts. And so they'd grab it and they'd wrap their hand around it and they would like make, it make me know that, oh, look, my hand can wrap around because I didn't know before that people's hands could wrap around my wrist. So they'd look, look, look my hand wrap around, and they'd shake it. They'd just shake my hand really hard and make it flop back and forth, and they'd laugh and be like, you're really skinny. And I was like, thank you, I didn't know. So, <laughs> so that happened like all during middle school. And I, okay, one time in health class, okay, we had to measure our BMIs, which is you know body mass index, which is definitely. So they had a little chart for us, and they wanted to tell us what BMI was overweight and what BMI would be average weight and what BMI was underweight. And then they had a category for dangerously underweight. So kids in my class were like, Celia, your BMI is going to be one. It's going to be so funny. And I was like, oh, God, yeah, you're right. No. So the category for underweight was like 18 and under was underweight. But if you were 17 and under, you were dangerously underweight. So the health teacher decided it would be a good idea for us each to stand up and say our BMIs to the class. I don't know why. So I had to stand up and tell them it was 
and half the class laughed, and the other half the class would like mumble, that's so unhealthy, she's so skinny, she needs to eat. You know, I heard what they were saying, and I was like, ouch. But, you know, they didn't really care. So it's kind of, that's what always happens, though. People just tell me, like, just to eat. They're like, oh, you just need to eat. You just need to eat some food. Just eat more. Drink a milkshake. I've had so many people tell me to drink a milkshake. And it's just not that easy. You know, I can't just gain extra 15 pounds to be average weight. It doesn't work like that. I'm just skinny. So I felt myself start to crumble in middle school, you know. Like I told myself before that I wouldn't be, you know, Miley, Sa Miley Stewart. I wouldn't be self-conscious teen girl. I wouldn't worry about what girls were saying about me. It was fine. But the more they said it, you know, the more I was like, ow, 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 ow. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I just started talking to my mom a lot, which was nice, talking to my mom. And after a bunch of conversations with my mom, I figured out that to come back and kind of finish what I was saying so it wasn't like open-ended um the point of my talk was to kind of talk about you know the kids like call me anorexic and they call me small and stuff but I was gonna be like oh that's not who I have to be even though I just kind of contradicted myself I'm sure walking <laughs> out but um I thought maybe walking back up would be kind of like the you know, like in the movies, they play like the big music, and I'm like, oh snap! <laughs> and so <laughs> I'm back. So I don't really um, kind of scattered, but I just wanted to come back up and tell you guys that my talk was about being more powerful than people think you are, and that you can be really strong and stuff, even if you're small, like a small person, like I guess I am. And that was that was all I wanted to say. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.